Hello everybody. Well, I'm back out in the woods, back in that area with all the war stuff. Got my old grubby metal detecting jacket on. And we're gonna see what we can find today. I had to get out of the house for a couple hours, so maybe we can find something good. Who knows? Let's go take a look. Well, I have no idea what this old big old piece of iron is, but at least I'm finding something. All right, you know, if I hadn't have gone out with Hansi the other day, I wouldn't be as familiar with these things. If any of you remember that Brent Roar Bomba that he found, well, guess what? I just found one, too. But, I don't think mine's that dangerous. Looks like it's been pretty much beat to hell on the firing end. This end is solid. This is probably where the explosive end is. You can see, real careful, see like little rivet holes and stuff where the firing mechanism would be on the other end of it. When they dropped it out, boom, boom, it would hit down this way. Yeah, let's see if I can get it here. This way, long ways. And then, boom, the spring thing would come forward, and this thing would freaking burn up anything anywhere near it. Really cool find. I got one that I can handle. I think it's relatively safe. I'm not going to take it home. Um... I might have to get a hold of Hansi and see if it needs to be disposed of or not. All I got to do is remember where in the hell I'm at. <laughs> Anyways, fun find. Totally amazing to me just how many weirdly shaped, unidentifiable pieces of iron are out here. Some spots you go, you just find a layer of bullets. Around the bomb craters, you tend to find a lot of this. So I'm starting to think it's maybe shrap metal. But, I don't know. You'd think if there was that much shrap metal around, there'd be something else too. I mean, like, some of the equipment from the guys they were trying to bomb? I don't know. Somehow it makes no sense to me. All right. Well, that's odd. There's a very large carved, perfectly rectangular stone. Kind of like a green, gray granite. Perfectly carved. Got a little metal thing sticking out of the side of it. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Maybe I should get it out of there. Have a look at it. Well, it do look like a lot of work. I don't know how long it is. I don't know. Let me give it a peek and figure it out. Okay. I got it out of the hole. And it's pretty big. Heavy. Here's my hand so you can reference the size. It's pretty good size. And the back side over there is relatively smooth. This side, this side, and this side are all cut rough. It's got these little smooth edges around that. So I don't know. I'm some kind of a capstone to some kind of Maybe a building of some sort, or I have no clue. I'm going to have to get out here and check this area a little closer. Hmm. Cool find, though. You know, I'll never be able to take it home. At least I got the pictures. 
Well, that was an interesting little trip out there. Found another bomb in that square piece of stone, whatever it is. But other than that, it's a lot of shrap metal. Of course, you know, odd bullet, but that's about it. I mean, nothing special today other than that bomb. Always got to love finding a good bomb. But anyways... I guess I'm going to call it done. It's probably about dinner time. I don't know. I have no idea what time it is. All I know is the sun's starting to go down. It doesn't totally get dark here until freaking close to 10 o'clock at night. So, I don't know. I just think I'm going to head home though. I'm getting kind of hungry. So, I'm not going to do a wrap up when I get there. Because there's really nothing to show you. <laughs> nothing to bring home, you know. So, you know the deal. Pow, pow, pow. Hit the subscribe button and everything because you wouldn't want to miss anything. Who knows? I'm going to find a bunch of bombs before I ever get out of this country. Bye.